You read news? Wait, when I think I hear Panshua, what he asks when a question? When I read the news? No. What's he talking about? I ain't hear nothing. What's he talking about? You know you're the only one to read that could read. Stop and tell me now. I miss who. You know, sometimes I just forget that. Well, don't stand all the way across there. Come look closer and listen. Listen, you over there. Come closer and listen. Huh? Yes, come. So, Massa was sitting down outside reading the newspaper today. Well, that ain't nothing out the ordinary. Listen, who telling this story, boy? Sorry, Nanny. Good. So, Massa the reading the paper. And he the looking on easy like he see a duppy. So, you know me, I start to watch it good. He get up and he the walking up and down. Up and down and smoking the pipe and drinking rum like it the gonna be he last. Find that strange behavior for he. Listen, hush and listen, huh? Sorry, Nanny. So Massa went long and he left the paper on the chair. So, I went to pick it up. Nanny, you read the paper? Well, when you got the ability to read, you, can, you should find every chance to practice, child. What it say, Nanny? What it say? <laughs> what is the one thing that wouldn't want more than anything right now? To be honest, I would like some rest. I feel like I work like day in day out and my back here. Yes, yes, yes. This man is so over here, man. But when you really forget about freedom, my love, when you really forget about freedom, freedom. freedom. yes, freedom, freedom. But nanny, what I got to do with what you read in the papers? How we want to make freedom go make massa uneasy? The paper to say that all of we is to be free for New Year's Day. Nanny Greg, this again? You always talk to me about this freedom thing, but we know it's just a dream. Massa ain't got free we? Massa ain't got the choice. How you mean? I mean that the paper say that the order came down from the Queen herself. They may got the choice but to free we come New Year's. Well, that ain't make no sense, Nanny. What reason they got to free me? And what we gonna do if we free? All we know is to work here upon this plantation. All I wanna hear upon Simmons Yard, listen to me good. I come here to tell one that the one thing you, you, and you, grandmother, before you the crying for, the one thing that everyone we really want is coming soon. Freedom coming, and we're gonna all be damn fools to keep working on this fair plantation. But I read it in the papers myself, so I ain't gonna let next year come and let catch me here still working. Freedom sure to come for me. But suppose Master don't want me to be free. This ain't about what Master want, boy. This about what we claiming as ours. Jin Jin say we is to be free, and if Massa don't like it, we can fight for we freedom, the freedom that we deserve. Come, who with me? Freedom, 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 who with me? Freedom, freedom. We can have to get word to the others. Jackie, when you go down to town tomorrow, make sure and whisper this to all the drivers and the rangers. The news gonna need to spread all about. Make sure Bussa up at Bailey's hear about it. We can all need to make sure this message gets spread. Come quick, come. Listen, freedom coming. Tell Bussa get ready. Nanny Rick says so. Freedom coming. Um, all right, listen, you need to tell Bossa that Nanny Greg say that that freedom coming and that we need to fight with we pitch forts and everything. All right, all right. Look, come, come. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Tell Bossa, right, that uh -huh. freedom coming and that everybody ready to fight. Go on, Telly. Go on, quick, quick, quick. Okay, what happened? Where's the location? Where's the signal? Come back. Look, come back. Just go on and tell Bossa that freedom coming. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Oh, no, freedom coming. Just go nowhere. Freedom? Yes, Musa, freedom. 
Are you sure that's what Nanny Greek said? Yes, but so we all done hear it myself. <laughs> so it is true. Yes. I did hear whispers about it. People saying that Kane Davis and Sergeant they're talking about freedom. But but we all know that Massa ain't gonna want it. Hmm. We gonna have to fight. We gonna have to fight for we freedom. But how we gonna fight, Bossa? Massa and the militia got arms that we ain't got? Yes, but we got numbers that them ain't got. For every one of them, them got enough for we. It is time that we get up and fight for we own freedom. Because nobody else think I'm fight for we. But, but I, I understand what we fighting for. Yeah, master, this tree we good. Yeah, it be all right. Fighting for what belong oh, to what we. What belong to we. You, you understand, Nanny Greg. Listen, if you put a dog on the chain and make it work hard for a morsel of food today, yes. He can got something in the belly when the evening come, mm. but he can still be on the damn chain. That's what you call treating we good? And what about when we just break me back walking on the plantation, huh? Or we just get his a little extra food when the holiday come? No, that don't even gonna wear, huh? Is that how you want to live? Who knows how much money master does make off the sweats of our backs? Or worse sweat that grows his crops and mops his floors. And when we sweat blood for me, for me, for he gain, how much of that? Just get past them to me, huh? You feel them understand, honey? You feel them understand? Listen, no. who in this room owns the land that them's work on, huh? Who in this room owns the very bed that them to sleep on? We got free colors that can't free by land. That makes sense. We got children and the elders alike. And this be out in the fields working hard. And for what? For what? Which one in here got the right to vote? Far less testify in the court. <laughs> Not even the free colors ain't free. Because they ain't got the power to make decisions. How many years no, no Tell me, how many years since they passed the Slave Abolition Act? Huh? And we ain't see one side to freedom yet. Remember, so what shall come in? All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. All things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Rich man in his castle, the, the poor, poor man at his gate. God made them high and lowly, and order the estate. Beautiful. All right, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. You, you, you understand what we're trying to say? Mm. Is this what we call life? This what the sons and daughters of kings and queens come to? Royalty, royalty, yes. hiding in fear of being discovered, huh? We're our pride. Our strength. Where is our dignity? Our hope. Where is our freedom? Listen, we brothers and sisters in San Domingo fight for them freedom. You know what? It is time that we fight for we own. Exactly. But, but listen, the time soon come. But for now, let me keep it quiet so that things don't fall on the wrong ears. Over here. Yes, I don't know. Mom, come now. Wait for what? Oh, the rebellion is happening! Oh, it's supposed to be a secret. It's so sorry. Wanna, wanna come close and listen. Come close and listen. Sorry. Listen. We all know that we friends in England fight hard to get with freedom. Wait, how you mean we? You done got your freedom already, Kane Davis. Listen, some of we got freedom pump paper, but that don't mean nothing until all are we free together. Now I'm talking sense. Kane, it's true that Master got we freedom papers and won't give him. Then James is to bring me that news. You see this freedom thing? This is ours to take here. Listen, we did free since Christmas Day, but Master didn't want to let me get me so easy. Mm. Freedom don't come without a price. <laughs> and all of we got to be willing to pitch in the coppers together and pay for it. Um, how much coppers are we talking about? Not real money. I'm talking about the kind of coppers that just bring about revolution. 
we got to fight as one, free men and slaves together to bring down, to bring down Massa. But how we gonna make it work? We ain't gonna catch the men ain't ready, for sure. Oh, uh, like when they put in the toilet? No, I mean Easter weekend, when they eating and drinking and celebrating, and when the guts full like a snake, and they're sleeping, that is when we get moving from them. Um, um, but suppose this freedom thing ain't true? I read it myself. Well, before say, it's supposed to happen. But Master can't, Master can't stop it forever. Mm. But we got the power to make it happen soon. Hold on, King Davis. What it matter to you? Why are you going to risk your freedom to fight with we? I'm a free man. But my children are still slaves. I'm fighting for you. I'm fighting for myself. I'm fighting for them. Fair enough. But we're going to got to plan this good. All the plantations across the island are going to have to move at the same time. But what about weapons store? All, all we got is garden tools. No, look, we got skills. Take all the tools that we've worked with, right? Any piece of iron, I sharpen them, I make them into weapons. And we could, not across you, and we could get some from inside the St. Philip militia. It ain't that hard to get him without being seen, trust me. But we want a signal door? What signal are we going to use? Sure, sure, right, sure, right. We can need something that can let everybody know when to start. You know what? We can use fire like they use in San Domingo. Yes! Listen, I got a corn stalk keep at my house. I can light it on fire as the signal to start. But that's what you're talking about. And when you see the fire from your plantation, light the fields so that the fire can spread across all the island. Listen, men want to see their crops burning, right? Call out every man who can fight. Yeah. Listen, and every woman. Uh, every woman and man with a tool that mm. can fight, man. Listen, and when it's all done, we all Washington Franklin going to be governor and he going to make it better for we. All right, all right, set up, set up. No friends. Let, let, let me disperse and enjoy the little Christmas festivities, huh? Mm -hmm. Moving on quick. Before, before we cause too much attention, we can meet up soon again, huh? But remember, look out for the keen fires. Signal here, let me go! Listen! The time is now, brothers and sisters! Let me fight! Ah! The tears on fire, fight for freedom! Fight for freedom! Fight for freedom! Get the children in the house! We take him back, we run! Attack! Attack! Come! Let's go! The time is now! Let's go! The tears on fire! Fight for freedom! The tears on fire! Freedom is ours! Freedom is ours! Come on! The tears on fire, fight for freedom! Fight for freedom! Fight for freedom! Whereas I have received official information that numberless slaves, prisoners charged with the rebellion, breaking open buildings and committing depredations in various parts of this island, are hourly sent into the different posts of encampment of the militia. And for as much as, under existing circumstances, such crimes demand the most summary and exemplary punishment. I do hereby require all colonels and commandants at the different posts where such prisoners may appear, charged with any of the like crimes, to proceed agreeably to the rules and discipline of war. In trying the said slaves and carrying the sentence thereof into immediate execution, and I do hereby strictly charge and enjoin all persons of every description to aid and assist in the discovery and apprehension of such and in the due execution of this my proclamation. We have had in the range of 144 Negroes executed as a result of this rebellion. 144 of your own people suffered on account of your actions. Tell me, Wiltshire, what be the cause of this? Were you ill-treated by your masters? No, 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 sir. Were you well-fed? Yes, sir. Did your master for order harsh punishment onto you? No, 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 sir, no, sir. Then what be the cause? Well, sir, just before Christmas last week, 
we get told that global force up in England, uh, get, get me freedom. And who was the teller of such tales? The ones I hear it from did Ken Davis, Roach, and, and, and Sergeant. Um, Davis told us that, that he see it in, 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 in the English newspaper um, and, that, and that he was going to get me freedom. Um, and, and he told me that he was going to have to fight for freedom if we don't get it by Christmas. Is that so? You there. Come here. What do you know of this? Were you at this reported Christmas party? What did you hear? What of this nanny Grig and Bussa? Were you one of those that fought? James Boland. Yes, sir. Step forward. You wanted your freedom, Boland? Yes, sir. Well, then name those who were involved in planning this insurrection, or you will risk not losing only your freedom, but your life. Well, sir, there was, there was King Wiltshire, Dick Bailey, Johnny the Standard Bearer, and the other Johnny who was a, a Cooper. Then the main ones at Bailey's Raiders lived, sir. And how did this come about? Well, sir, them said them get news from Richard Sargent that he didn't read it in the English papers that we did free but 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 that wanna I, I mean that the white people didn't want to give me freedom. Sergeant said that we can go out to fight for it like how they did in San Domingo. And tell me Boland, were you involved in this plot? Well sir, we have much of a choice. How so? But one John Ranger round up all of we. I, I said that if we don't burn down the estate with them, them can burn down we houses with the estate. He ain't really give me much of a choice. Just like how, you see how you ain't giving much of a choice now. <laughs> no choice. You are all fed, watered, treated on holidays. You slaves live better than some of the poor free men, and this is how you thank your masters. All for the vain hope of some rumored freedom. Now, by the decree handed down to us, we have no choice but to punish you all. Where's your General Bussa now? Huh? Dead. And leaving you to face severe punishment alone. You stuck to your cause with pride. You faced up the overwhelming odds, fought, bled, and died. Yet lives on still that moment of matchless courage and undaunted will. The homily of our heritage. History has left you in captive cobwebs over the years, and the system has prevented you whispering truth into our ears. For the morning and evening of evils are the fear of your soul. The songs of freedom you sang, still a threat to their fold, does not take only their Samsons to break chains, nor asses, nor jaw bones to relieve oppressive pains. For the spirit of our people, longing to be free, have found and made you our firm statue of liberty. So, Busa, blaze in heroes' glory and be here for our children now to teach them their history.